Fala galera do Jeff Fight, Diego Ribeiro Direto de Las Vegas, with Khalil Hontree. How are you? Thank you for your time. Good, how are you doing? Better now, thank you for your time, my man. Of so, as you know, we know, you're fighting, you're facing Alex Pereira in October in Salt Lake City. Title shot. Uh, how long was the negotiation for? How long did you talk about it? I, I'm not going to lie, a lot of fans were surprised about it. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, uh, a lot of fans were surprised, but so was I. Um, there wasn't a lot of negotiation or talk. I got one phone call from the UFC, and they said, hey, we have this opportunity for you. And, of course, I say yes. <laughs> that Paulo simple. said, hell yeah. yeah that, that simple. I said yes, and um, so excited. And as soon as the phone call ended, I just thank God because, to me, I feel it's a miracle. Perfect. Uh, before talking about Alex, would you mind to explain, just to resume the situation, like, you were supposed to fight Jamal Hill, and then was the doping situation, and yada, yada, yada. How was that, and why you were cleared to fight now? So, yes, I was supposed to fight Jamal Hill, and during my training camp for Jamal Hill, I was working with some people who were professionals to do my nutrition, and they gave me something that had a DHEA, mm -hmm. a, a banned substance, and I didn't know. Um, but when I found out, Uh, I immediately told the UFC, like, hey, these people, my doctors, uh, been giving this to me. And we had all of the paperwork, everything to show that, like, it's not cheating. Um, I self-reported to the UFC to let them know it was not my mistake. It was the people who I hired. Um, and then we also got a letter from the owner of the company saying, hey, yeah, this is our mistake. So uh, the UFC, they because I still had the banned substance, um, they had to do two months suspension. And then I had to wait to show the, all of the facts to the athletic commission as well. Um, and now that they see it, um, they realize that it's, it wasn't my fault and um, it was because of the company. And so now things are a little bit you know, easier and my suspension will be up before my fight. Perfect, October 5, 5 of October, you're facing Alex Pereira. Of course, you know his game. Everybody knows he's the champion, but it looks like it's very hard and very tough to beat him. He's a tough puzzle. How do you see the matchup, skill by skill? Skill by skill, I think it's going to be one of the most exciting fights. I don't know. I, I say it a lot. Any interview that when people ask me about this 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 fight, I I, I say the same thing. I, I believe in his skills. I, I know he's a very skilled striker. I know he's powerful and he's strong, but so am I. And so it makes me excited that we get to put on this type of fight for the fans. That that's that's my number one thing. You have two of the hardest hitting strikers in the light heavyweight division. He's on a, a win streak, title reign. I'm on a win streak. People want to see it. I want to see it, and I'm just prepared to do my best. In terms of motivation, is it easier to motivate yourself to fight a challenge like that, or? Because sometimes, let's say you're going to face a wrestler, you know he's going to try to grapple you, but now you know you both are going to, you know, try to knock each other out. In terms of motivation, is it easier? Yeah, maybe. I think, you know, I think the, I'd say the motivation, it's, it's easier to motivate myself, but I also realize that it is MMA fight. You know, and we're both strikers. I don't plan to shoot any takedowns, but who knows? Maybe he does. I don't know. We don't know each other's game plans, right? So I cannot just expect that we're just going to strike. So I have to be prepared for everything. Um, but knowing that right now I get to fight the champion and, you know, he's a great champion, that's my motivation. You're not planning to shoot anything now, right? No, no, no. That's not my plan. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make sure that everybody who uh, who pays for this fight, to watch this fight, that they get every dollar worth. Let me ask you something, not just as a fighter, but as a fan as well. Like, you are number eight in the ranking. But at the same time, it looks like the fans want to see this match more than, let's say, Alex and Ankolaev, who is the number two, if I'm not wrong because of the styles and the stuff like that. Do you agree with that? Do you think at the end of the day, we need to have, like UFC has to give to the fans what the fans want, or at the end of the day, ranking is the rank? No, I, I think that it's a little bit of both. 
it can't be just one thing. It can't be only rankings and it can't be only styles. It has to be a mixture of both. I'm ranked number eight, but everybody that's ranked, you know, from one to eight, there's different situations. Some people are already booked. Um, you know, some people coming off losses. It, there's more to it, right? Mm -hmm. So, and one thing is like, Alex needs to fight. So they look down the line and they see like who's available and that's what makes sense. And then they see the matchup in my style and they say, okay, we can do this because the styles make sense too. You get me? So, you know, like, yeah, Uncle Live, he's booked right now. So there's no way that he can fight October. And then Jamal Hill, he just lost, you know, to Alex. And I know he wants a rematch, but that's not my job. I don't make the matchups, you know, I don't control the rankings. I just wait for the phone calls. So, like, that's my main thing. Yeah, that's my main thing. Like, whatever, I understand. Fans may be upset. Uh, people may be caught up into the politics. Um, but as a fighter, my only job is to stay in shape and to answer the phone calls when they come and to entertain the fans. And that's what I'm here to do. Perfect. Can't wait to see this fight. Tamo junto, irmão. Tamo junto. Do you speak any other Portuguese? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> If you don't mind, please send a message for your Brazilian fans why they should watch this fight 5 of, of October. Galera. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you should watch this fight. It's going to be very exciting. Um, if you don't know who I am or have watched my fights, um, this would be the best fight to watch. And, um, yeah, um, I hope everybody has a good week weekend month all the way up until the fight uh stay excited order tell your friends about it it's going to be a great event <laughs>